Yo, leave me back with another episode of Minecraft Survival Games. Today, we're playing on the map SG2, which I feel like I've been recording on a lot recently. But anyway, guys, if you recall last episode, the topic was prom uh, night and my 23-hour day. I talked about my rowing races, and I had left off the story when I had just arrived at prom. Uh, if you haven't seen that episode already, I'll put the thumbnail on the screen now, or you can click the link in the description below uh, if you're on a mobile device and don't have the annotations. Highly recommend watching it, uh, just so you know what's going on. But, uh, continue on the story. So, I just arrived at prom, took the elevator up to the, uh, penthouse of this hotel, and when- Oh no, you're gonna get pink house, I'm not up for that, my boy. Uh, but anyway, when I got to the hotel, um, top floor, I greeted all of them. Okay, here, let me just get these and slap these on as I go down. Okay, you're not gonna have anything on me. Act oh, you didn't put your gear on fast enough. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe you didn't, maybe you didn't, maybe you did. Um, we need better gear. Okay, where's the good gear? I just wanted to slap my gear on quickly. Okay, I actually have four gold ingots now, which is like... Halfway to a gap. Okay, there we go. I have the good stuff. And... Okay, I'm actually safe. Okay, good. I just want to get out of here so I know I'm safe. Um, but anyway, guys. Um... So, yeah. I had just arrived at prom. I got there. I was pretty tired. I met a lot of my friends there. Shook their hands. Everybody actually looked pretty nice last night. I'm telling you. Like, girls and guys... Uh, there were some people who, like, just looked a lot better, just in a prom dress or, like, uh, wearing, uh, tux or whatever. It was pretty cool. So I get there, and there's a huge food line. Like, I'm talking, this thing took about, like, 30 minutes to get through. And I was starving, as I had just said, because, in the previous video, because, uh, I had said I was skills for lunch. Um, and I was completely, like, just starving. So I got three of these slider burgers and just down those things. I wolfed them. Um, and then I had, like, two bottles of smoke water. Kids is, uh, th at the dance were actually pretty wasteful with smoke water. You know how, like, smoke water is, like, this tall or something? They're, like, pretty big. Uh, yeah, kids would take, like, one sip of it when they got tired of dancing to rehydrate, and then would just, like, leave it there and then go back and get new. It was so wasteful. But anyway, I drink, like, two complete smoke waters plus the three sliders and I was good to go um and once the dancing started picking up it actually got like a lot of fun they played a lot of songs I knew and just a bunch of dancing songs in general and everyone was just having a fun time um in the middle <coughs> there were actually like a lot of uh there were a lot of people who like jumped it like the same time like while we were dancing like when the part of the song dropped where like the beat drop through the bass or whatever the, the, the kids these days call it. Uh, whenever that part of the song came, you could actually feel the floor shaking. Um, I got three levels from the three XP bottles. You could actually feel the floor shaking underneath people. Like it, it seemed like the floor was going like this. Where like say it's flat, it would like dip down. Um, and that was like people were going at it. It was so much fun. Just being in like the middle and stuff. Uh, I didn't even care that I date because everyone just kind of danced with everyone. It was a lot of fun and stuff like that. They played good. They played pretty good music. They did a part where they said like, um, we're gonna do, um, starting with the 70s, we're gonna play 30 seconds of a song from every decade, and you just gotta dance your heart out. And a bunch of people just got really into that part, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, my brother actually won an iPhone 6. They did some, like, pretty good raffles there. My brother won an iPhone 6. For those of you that don't know, I have one because uh, this is what I asked for for my birthday. And my brother wanted tickets to a concert, so he didn't have one. Uh, and it was pretty cool that he won the iPhone. I'm pretty happy for him. Um, so anyway, um, once that ended, um, my, my uh, like, once prom ended, it was like 11.30 or something, and I, I was pretty wiped out from the dancing and my long day, because if you recall from the previous video, I would woken up at 5 a.m. Uh, for this whole day, and I hadn't slept this whole day, and so I was like pretty, I was pretty sore from my races, and I was pretty tired from dancing, and I, like, I could have just gone to bed right there, but I had to stay awake, so anyway, um, like, um, we just drove over to the... 
IHOP. Um, <coughs> <coughs> we drove over to an IHOP, and uh, uh, we ate there. The waitress was pretty. She was pretty awful. She was getting yelled at management when we got there. And I know serving meals for like 20 kids is tough. But she had a bad attitude. She mixed up a bunch of people's orders when people were correcting her and trying to be helpful. And my friends aren't like mean people either. They were like trying to help the waitress out and stuff like that. And uh, she was just messing up and stuff. And then she was compl Ugh. like there's some awful words I would use to describe uh, this uh, waitress, but anyway, I tipped to 22%. For those of you that don't know, in America, uh, the typical amount to percent a person is, uh, I think, like, 15%. 15 is, like, the, uh, like, recommended, or, like, U uh, U.S. custom for tips, and I tipped to 22% because of how many, uh, tables she had to wait, plus a delay hour. Like, there were, like, 20 of us there, so I gave her an extra tip. And she yelled at me about it. She's like, you know, one day when you become a waiter, you're not going to appreciate this uh, kind of thing. I'm like, I'm not going to be a waiter. <laughs> like, I know how much waiters make. I'm not going to be a waiter. And because, like, for those of you that don't know, waiters only get, like, uh, for 2013, waiters in the U.S. only got, like, paid two thirteen an hour on average. And then the rest they made from tips. Uh, that's how it works. So that's why uh, I never am a, like a complete jerk and only com uh, pay like a 10% tip unless the waitress is really awful. Usually I just do like 15% to 20%. Um, if, they, if they just have a positive attitude and don't mess anything up, I'm fine with 20 Um, So yeah, that's pretty much what happened there. And we drove back to our house, um, which is where the after party was being held because if you recall from the previous video my brother was the one who was gonna host the after party um so I was basically a host in general too I don't know if you guys know this or not but I actually have a twin brother um he's my age so he's also a junior in high school we go to the same school so like his friends are my friends and stuff so uh yeah we just brought everyone over and the after party was pretty short actually it only lasts like 45 minutes uh it was pretty fun we just talked about like we just hung out you know it's kind of, we talked about like school stuff like you'd only find it interesting if like you were one of our friends just like a lot of conversations happen like you only would be interested in it if you actually knew what was going on so yeah it's pretty much that it was a lot of fun um then everybody left and uh, I helped my mom clean up a bit and then I went to bed after my long day was there a bow in there no there was not okay um so yeah that is pretty much how prom night went. I went to bed at 4 a.m. Uh, so, I had stayed up 23 hours straight, which is about the longest I have stayed up. Probably, I, I definitely had enough in me for 24, which is good because I'm going to be doing a 24-hour live stream this summer. So, it's good to know that I could have stayed up for 24 hours. Um, and plus, the 24-hour live stream isn't going to be like physically exhausting, such as a full night of dancing plus two rowing races. Because rowing is hard. Like, rowing will tire you out. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just so much fun. And, like, oh, I had a bow. Um, okay, uh, I should have smashed that above my head. Yeah, you're not supposed to, for the max amount of XP, don't smash it against the wall. Either smash it above your head or, like, toss it up so it falls back or smash it on the ground. Uh, don't smash it at a wall. I completely forgot that. Now I'm gonna go to the enchantment table and get all my, uh, enchants taken care of. Um, Jeez, I just hit some frame drops. We only got like 23, uh, yeah, 23 frames a second here. <clears throat> and this is, <clears throat> this is the recording right after the SG5 game. Uh, so hopefully I could get another win here. Back-to-back -back victories. That'd make my recording session really easy. Because uh, I need to talk to some people tonight about potentially getting Eagle Scout next month. Uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's just been a while since I've talked to you guys and really updated you guys. And no prom... I've been talking about that, like, in the works, it's been the works, and all that stuff, um, so yeah, like, I, it's just been kind of my go-to topic for videos recently, so now that it's over, I'm just kind of focused on getting done with school, I might rather announce this now as opposed to later, but, um, they, I might, might, might have to take a week off of videos within the coming weeks, I'm not entirely sure, I'm gonna try to avoid it, 
But the reason for not having the videos will be I honestly would not have the time to record them. Um, like, it's not like, oh, I don't care about YouTube, eh, my fans can suck it, or anything like that. It's like, I just wouldn't have the time to sit down and record them. Um, because there's just so much going on right now. I'm doing so much recently, it's not even funny. Um, okay, so now I can come up here. You guys have seen how I enchanted this. I feel like I recorded on this map pretty recently. Um, okay, let's get... Oh yeah, the first thing is always two levels. Okay, let's see. Protection. Protection. Uh, I don't want either of those. Shortness. Try to get a diamond sword in there. Oh, no, it's gonna be deathmatch. Wait, let me see. Garage, you. Protection. Wait, let me switch those out. Protection and uh, power. There we go. That was perfect. Perfect enchant. Prot one everything plus uh, a iron sword. That's pretty good. Okay, so I have six golden apples. Uh, the only thing I'm really lacking here is arrows, but I don't think I'm in real jeopardy of losing with the armor and stuff I have. This thing's it's just slightly better than a diamond sword. It's probably not even going to affect the outcome of anything. So I'm just going to have to make sure to uh, play this smart <clears throat> and see how it goes. 10 seconds, let me just take some pre-DM water here. Slide into your DMs like. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, here, our team with Bach. Okay, send out my team request message. Okay, um, I actually... Oh, man, that was a good long shot. Oh, and another. Three for three? Nah, two for three. Okay, time to saddle up, boys. Okay, I'm hoping the other guy got some decent hits on this guy. This guy gapped, I think. Okay, there go my arrows. Um... Oh, jeez. This guy hacking? What happened? Oh, he's lagging! The... What?! There's no way! I can't check his ping or anything, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't like the fairest thing in the world. That actually surprised me. I'm not sure what happened. I couldn't really see him. He was just all over the place. Maybe hacking, maybe not. I don't really care. I just got my prom story out. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, it was a pretty good night. Um, so yeah, I'll just see you guys for Friday's SG. Thank you for watching today's episode of MCG. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!